these are kittens, but not the kittens that you might be thinking of. They're not your everyday house kitten. This is a serval. These are little baby servals. Now, one of the most distinctive things about servals is the pattern that they have. A lot of people will <laughs> confuse them with cheetahs because when they're full grown, a lot of people think they're baby cheetahs, but it's, it's not true. They're, they're different to cheetahs. They actually have a, a different pattern and you can see they've got the little spots that are similar to cheetahs, but they also have those stripes that come down off their neck and those beautiful white dots on the back of their ears as well. These guys are having a bit of a play fight at the moment too. When they grow up, they're not going to be really big. They're not like the big tigers or lions, those big cats that you think of. They're actually only going to be, um, you know, really quite small. But even though they're very small, they're quite powerful hunters. So when they grow up, they actually use their incredible jumping abilities to catch their prey. Not only can they catch things that are above them, maybe birds that might be flying over, or fast moving little rabbits or hares, things like that, but they'll also use that, that jumping ability to pounce on animals underneath them. So they'll jump up really, really high and then basically torpedo down onto them. And they've got really good teeth in that mouth that they use to kill their prey. But it's funny because when you look at them at the moment, they do not look like very honed hunters, definitely not. They're still in their little cute kitten phase at the moment. So they can hide in a lot of different situations. It could be dense bushland or grass, and they can remain completely hidden. They're really, really silent, except for just then. He made a little, a little squeaky noise. When they're moving around a lot, they'll actually release these little, little claws that they have uh, underneath there. It's this little sheath that they have, and they can, <laughs> they can take those out when needed. And it's, it's a great way of helping them climb. <laughs> I find it quite interesting too that a lot of people think that cats can be really quite afraid of water, but that's completely untrue. In fact, these guys have even been known to, to fish. They'll actually fish fish out of the water. <laughs> they'll, they'll catch fish there and uh, it's really amazing. They'll use those, those hands and those claws and their teeth to get them out of the water, it's incredible. Whoa. <laughs> the saying herding cats is, is very applicable <laughs> in this situation.